Hello there, welcome to another episode of Pastor Explain This. Now, you probably have heard, like I have, from some quarters that praying at night is more powerful than praying in the day. I um, want to see if this is true, and if true, why? These are the things we want to get answers to in this episode of Pastor Explain This. Now, let, let's start with uh, scrutinizing some of the reasons advanced by those in support of the superiority of night prayers. Those who say that night prayers are more important than, uh, more powerful rather, than uh, daytime prayer. What are the reasons they advance for this? In fact, in, before now, I used to think that it's an African thing. And uh, it's understandable because, you know, our background in African traditional religion seem to con condition us that way, to think that way. But recently, I heard a, I mean, a white, I mean, a preacher from America. Even though I must, I, I mean, I must confess, he's a black American, so I can say that <laughs> he has that kind of background. Maybe not the immediate background, but far, far into his background. Yes, he does have African traditional beliefs in his blood somewhere. He said it and I began to consider it more seriously that really, so this thing is not just here in Nigeria and Africa, people all over the world seem to believe that uh, praying at night is more powerful than praying in the day time. So let's scrutinize some of the reasons they advance. Well, I mean, I've looked at them and I've come out with the two major ones because of time. One, they say nighttime is a peak period for spiritual activities, especially demonic activities. They say in the nighttime, specifically between 12 a.m. and about 3 o'clock in the morning, that witches, wizards, principalities, and powers, wickedness in high places, they gather, do meetings, and, um, and make conclusions of what they are going to do in daytime, what their lives they are going to destroy. And, and even though that is true, you know, uh, we, of course, we can't go into details of that. And even those who have been in that system have confirmed that indeed there is a peak period for demonic activities. That's not to say that demonic activities don't go around the day, but it's a peak period. So if you wake up at night to pray, they say, You'll be able to counter these activities carried out against you. So, so they are meeting in the coven somewhere to, to see how your life will be destroyed. So you, you need to wake up in the night. These are the reasons they advance that. You wake up in the middle of the night while that meeting is still on and pray against it. Now, I have two things against this school of thought quickly. Praying at night because of this reason. Emphasis on because of this reason. Is simply playing defensive against the devil. That is, you are, the devil is mapping out strategies and you are trying to counter it, which is what this reason is about. Uh, it can only bring you to defeat. You are playing right into the hands of the devil. You see, it, offense is the best form of defense, as they say in all games. And in, in any game, if you are trying to play defensive against anybody, chances are that you will eventually lose. In any case, Matthew 16, verse 18, the scripture says, Jesus talking here, he says, I will build my church. You and I are the church of God, children of God. He said, and the gate of hell will not prevail over it. The understanding we need to have of that verse of scripture is that the, the, the church will advance, will be advancing. We, the people of God, will be making advances. The, the gate of hell, which is a gate, a gate is not moving. It's supposed to defend Okay, yeah, so the devil is supposed to be defensive against us and not the other way around, which many intend to do with night prayers, that you want to counter the activities of the enemy. So by so doing, you're already playing into the hands of the devil. You are, being, you are defensive and it's going to work against you. Under loop O with this school of thought is that it is impracticable to keep vigils every day of your life. So let's say you have to wake up every night so pray against the activities of the enemy against you. What about days and nights where you are unable to wake up? Because, I mean, you are too tired or you are busy somewhere. Many things happen that you may not be able to, you know. Sometimes you may even sleep off. What will happen at such nights? So you see that it's, it's impracticable. 
it is impracticable. Another reason that is advanced for the superiority of night prayers over day prayer is that it is an off-peak period for God to attend to prayers. They believe or they say or claim or infer that when every other person is sleeping, you wake up and you pray to God. It means that you have, you have, you have, God is less, quote and unquote, less busy at that time to attend to you. Well, there's no such thing as a peak period for God. To start with, you are not the only person who wants to wake up at night to pray. You discover that every other person too wants to outsmart every other person to quickly get the attention of God. So you are not going to be the only one. In any case, even if you are the only one in your side of the world, remember that as it is night here, it is day in some other places of the world. So God is never less busy. He's always busy. The amount of people praying to God at any given point in time is ever increasing because people are getting more born, more people are becoming more, uh, there are more people getting born again, more people being born. So you see that that logic is, it won't work if you really consider it. It won't work. God is, God never has off peak period. God is not less busy in the night than in the day. That is our own way. We have peak periods, time where we are more busy, time where we are less busy. But God is not like that. He neither sleeps nor slumbers. Okay? He neither sleeps nor slumbers. The truth is that night prayer in and of itself, in and of itself, is not more powerful than day prayer. It is not. The difference is in your mind. So if you think praying at night is more powerful, then for you it will be. Okay? So the Bible says, I think in Titus 2, Thing verse 15, he said, to the defiled, all things are defiled. To the pure, all things are pure. It's a matter of perception. If you think that the night is a time where God will answer you more, well, it will you, to be for you. Not because God can answer you in the day more. It's just because you have conditioned your heart to be so. And I just pray you don't have something that requires you to really, really pray in the day. <laughs> that you now have to wait till the night. So, that is that. However, that said... Let me also point out one possible advantage of night of praying at night. One possible advantage. And this is it. When you pray at night, you deny yourself of something very important, which is sleep. And you are denying yourself of sleep just to seek the face of the Lord, to seek God in prayer. You are not praying, you are not denying yourself of sleep to counter the works of the enemy. You can do that at any time. You know, you can. You can do that at any time of the day. The devil should not be given too much, I mean, uh, I mean, authority. You know, it's not that important and that powerful. A Christian should not hold the devil that powerful. Okay, so, but you, have, you, you, you wake at night, deny yourself of sleep to seek the Lord in prayer. There is an advantage to that. That sacrifice is tantamount to fasting. You know, when we fast, we deny ourselves of food. Fasting is not only limited food. Like, night prayer is a form of fasting too now, if you look at it in that sense. Because you are denying yourself of something very important, which is sleep. You are making a sacrifice to seek the face of the Lord. And that we count. It definitely we count. Not because it is night, but because you are, you are fasting with it. You are making a sacrifice to pray at that time. Not, not that it will make God to do more than he would do for you if you were praying the day, but it puts you in a better position to receive from God, which is what fasting does. Fasting does not make, does not do anything to God. It is us in our spirit. It makes us more open to receive. So praying at night will have that advantage for you because it is fast, especially when you cannot have the time to do that in the day. Night praying will be just good for that. So in the final analysis, praying at night in and of itself is not more powerful than praying in the day. Okay? Just go with whichever one is good for you, works with for you. You know, this thing is just like reading. When we're in school, some people read well at night. For some people like all myself, reading at night never if I've even tried Nescafe to, to stay awake at night to, to read. It just did not work. I found out that there are certain times of the day that my brain is just open to read. And the same thing applies to prayer. Praying in the day works fantastic for many, for many people. Praying in the night works fantastic for some people. Do which one is good. Works well with you. Because God is not limited by any of them. It is just a matter of, it's just a matter of convenience for us. I believe I've been able to answer 
that question with respect to the night praying versus day praying. Please keep your questions rolling in. I'll be glad to address them in subsequent episode of Pastor Explain This. Till I come your way again, remain blessed.